kitties. Good morning, everybody. It's very like bright right now. So sorry if I'm squinting, but today we're starting a very fun vlog. We are actually getting a puppy a week from now, and I'm really, really excited. It's going to be a little collie puppy, but today we're starting a little bit of the, sorry, the birds are really loud. We're gonna start a little bit of like the logistics and like, getting stuff for the puppy. We're gonna go to the farm store. I'm gonna bring my phone in there and try to get some clips in there. We have to get- So we have to get dog food. Dog food, training like small, treats. Like small enough for the dog to eat right now. Mm -hmm. Training treats, just like little things. Mm -hmm. so that it's not like a big treat every time. Some, a collar, some type of collar, and then a toy mm -hmm. or two. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited. So that's how we're going to be starting today. We're getting a puppy a week from today. Um, today's June 12th, so we're going to be getting her on June the 19th. It's a little bit of a drive, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. I'm excited. All right, let's head out to the farm store. I almost have to get like a puppy size. This here might not be a bad one to start with. What about the bunny? Oh, there's ropes right here. What about something like this? Dad, what about that? Do they have any that are like kibble sized that'll last longer? I say we get Pioneer Woman beef and brisket recipe. <laughs> <laughs> the gourmet cheeses. Ooh. Yeah, I'd get, I'd get black. I like pink. <laughs> Dad's trying to get tomato cages and the doors keep on going off. He can't get them apart. Oh, there you got one. Did you have fun? <laughs> Puppy haul. Basic to more exciting. Collar. We got... <laughs> oh, my pink glows. Don't mind those. But we got a little collar. We were thinking that we might have to get one that's a little bit bigger when she gets older. Mm -hmm. But this should work for a while. Like a and we got black because... Um, Misty's collar was red and after a while it just gets like dirty and stuff So we just got something that's super basic and then to go with that leash we got, I mean to go with the collar. We got a little leash that's retractable. We didn't plan on getting one We were actually going to use um, we used to have alpacas and we used to have like little leash things that we'd like guide them around with that we would mm -hmm. use for Misty, but um, we got this one and it was kind of expensive, but we think that we can use it a lot, so. And then next we got this nice little chew toy. It's knotted. It's just, we just wanted to get her one toy that she could like play with and chew on. And puppies like to chew on things a lot. So yeah. that was the cutest one I could find. They have a lot. They had a lot of just like neon stuff, but it's fine. Yeah. It's and good. then the last thing. Lastly. Well, we also needed to get puppy food, but we didn't know what the owner was already feeding the puppy. Oh yeah, we were going to ask the uh, dog owner um, what they're feeding the puppy. So but we're going to actually it. pick that up probably on the way home. From getting the puppy. Mm-hmm. And then we got some basic um, treats for the dog. They're, we wanted them to be smaller so they could be training treats. But we're still gonna like cut them in half. So yeah, that's what we have for our little puppy. Um, as of right now, what's your, what are you most excited for about the puppy? the puppy? Yeah, what are you most excited for? I thought you were saying what were you most excited for? And so I just said the puppy. I'm excited to train her and just like play with her. I'm excited to take her on walks. Honestly, we never really took Misty on walks before and we really want to take this puppy on walks. Yeah, this is six feet long and the max- 16 feet long. Oh. Like bigger than her head. Wait, does this fit on my neck? Why are you putting that on your neck? Well, I'm just curious. Why? <laughs> we were joking that Tori was gonna test out the electric fence. Okay, this haul is getting weird. We're going to see you guys in the next update. Okay, so today's the day it is June 19th. It is Saturday. We are going to be getting our puppy today, but I wanted to sit down and sort of explain some things. And also, I'm like all dolled up for this because when we actually get back um, a couple hours later, we're going to be going to church, so I wanted to be as ready as I could. But if you are new to my channel, you... Oh, hold on. It's kind of not tilted down enough. So if you are new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but we did have another collie before this. 
um, Misty. I have a picture of her right in front of me and I also have a couple that I keep above um, my desk and I'll pop up a picture of her. Um, but she was 11 years old and one week and unfortunately we lost her in December of 2020 so about six months ago or so but I wanted to sit down and sort of first of all explain what happened because now I can sort of talk about it without bawling my eyes out and also there's a lot of judgment around like getting a new dog like after you lose a dog um when we got misty um we waited a few years and we tried to breed her to have puppies because that was always our plan like if misty had a puppy you know we'd never have to buy another puppy or get another puppy we could just sort of keep having puppies of our own so that was the plan unfortunately misty was not able to have puppies and i feel like that's really really rare um we didn't really think anything of it we were just like oh shoot this kind of stinks, but we can't really do anything about it. So unfortunately, it was December 20th of 2020, and we went outside because it was really cold outside. Because Misty's an older dog, um, she she was a really good watchdog. If it was up to her, she would freeze before she ever went inside or went inside the barn where we have like a place for her. Um, so basically all winter, we would sort of just keep her in there because we knew that she wouldn't go in there by herself because we knew she was older, we didn't want her to get too cold, stuff like that. But we went out there on December 20th just because we would um, check on the animals, stuff like that. So we checked on Misty and we found, well, first of all, before I get into this, if you don't like the talk of like blood or anything like that, I'd skip ahead a little bit to a different point in this video. Um, but when we went in there, we saw blood on the ground. Now, at first we thought maybe one of our cats got wounded. Um, we have barn cats. They kind of get wounded every once in a while. They bleed a little bit, it heals, they're fine. Like it's not something you fully understand until like you have barn cats yourself. But when we looked at Misty, it was coming from her. And the reason I mentioned that she couldn't have puppies is because unfortunately we lost her because her reproductive organs had completely shut down and that's what the blood was coming from. So essentially the vet said that we couldn't really do anything about it and we ended up losing her the next day on December the 21st. And it was really, really hard. Um, just like I'm looking at this picture in front of me, it, it looks like this. It's like one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken with her. Um, but I remember after we lost her, like for a few days, I just look over at that and just bawl my eyes out and I still do cry every once in a while. Like I made the mistake of watching Marley and me the other night and I didn't know that it was too soon and I bawled my eyes out. Um, so we miss her a lot, but before we do go and get our puppy today, I just wanted to say that we plan on getting a puppy um, whether Misty was around or not, we knew that she was a little bit older. Um, we thought that we could, we, we thought that we would have her for a longer time, but obviously it's not under our control. Since Misty ended up passing and it's about six months later, we all sort of just feel ready. Um, I don't think after even like two or three months we were ready, but what I guess I'm trying to say here is if you lose a dog, I will not judge you whether you get the dog two months after you lose your dog or five years. I think it's something that's very personal to people. When I, when we lost Misty, I've gained such an appreciation for people that have lost pets. And it's really hard to move on and we are by no means trying to replace Misty. Like nobody will ever be like Misty, but that's one of the things that I'm most excited for is seeing the similarities between Misty and this new puppy. But I just want to clarify that we are not trying to replace Misty, nor was that ever the intention. It took us a very long time to be ready. And a couple other factors that just sort of led us to this decision is, well, first of all, Misty was a really good um, guard dog and I actually had an incident earlier this year where it seemed like somebody might have been breaking in and I fortunately was sitting at the table and I saw the car drive in so I knew that was I knew that the person had drove in um, but had Misty been there she would have gone berserk this guy would not have stayed at our door for as long as he did and I'm not gonna go too much into detail about that but Misty was such a good guard dog and that kind of brings us back to like we always plan on getting a puppy even when Misty was around because we thought it'd be really fun for her to have like an adopted daughter she can sort of like show her the ropes everything like that and the other reason besides us just being ready for a dog 
is the fact that our cats, we've been losing our cats. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed um, the vlog back. I wasn't going to talk about this, but this is a very, um, this, this is something that you don't really think about, like when you think about getting a dog. But we actually lost a couple of our kittens um, because of an overabundance of raccoons. And we realized that even though Misty was the kindest, most gentle dog, she had the biggest bark ever. And she just kept the cats very safe. Um, I don't care if you think that that's stupid of us to try to protect our barn cats, but I don't really care. But we actually ended up giving the other two kittens to our cousin and they have a new home. Um, and then Bree just had kittens, you guys saw at the beginning of this vlog, um, and we're actually keeping them close to the house because that's the safest place for them. So we would like to get a dog as fast as possible to sort of keep the peace around our different, uh, around our property, keep the animals safe, um, keep us safe. And yeah, so we're just ready and I just wanted to sit down and clarify this. It's really just up to you. It's what makes you happy and it's what's best for you. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm really excited to get our puppy today. Um, the dog owner has been a little bit weird. So hopefully we leave today with a puppy. That'd be really, really sad if we didn't. We're going to get started on our little road trip soon and I'm really excited to bring you guys along on this journey. I'm going to try to, um, bring my phone to wherever we go to see the puppies um i also want to respect the owner so i'm gonna try to get some clips but forgive me if i don't because i just want to be respectful and as discreet as i can so the puppy home she actually got sick in the car twice but um she's out in the barn we have like a little pen set up for her um but she's briefly met the cats um she met brie brie did not like her which i was kind of surprised about because brie loves anything and everything um but yeah so we're gonna bring her outside because it's been kind of rainy and gloomy all day um so yeah we're gonna see how she reacts to that Get out the kittens, see how she reacts to those. Tori, do you think she'll like the kittens? I think she'll like the kittens, but I don't think the kittens will like her. We learned, well, first of all, her birthday is April 12th, um, 2021. Um, so she's nine weeks old right now. She's about eight pounds. She's one of four girls in a litter of 12. Wow. Yeah, so a litter of 12. Misty was from a litter of 10 and we honestly thought that that was huge. But yeah, so when we got there, she had, like I said, four females and she said two of them were already like taken or like people had already like, um, wanted them. like wanted them or whatever. This pimple is really bothering me. So since two of them were spoken for or whatever, um, we got to choose between two and one had more of like a dark face and had a lot more like coloring on what his back. Mean? So we're gonna head outside in a minute here and play around with her. Hopefully she's a little bit more uh, rambunctious, but, and then I'll tell you guys her name and everything. And yeah, so let's hope this goes well. All right, so this is dad's office. And then you come in here. Did you spill water? Did you spill water? Oh, you took a, oh wow. She spilled her water. And she pooped, I'll have to censor that out. You're gonna have you wanna to. Do it? Can you put it? You want me to pick up poop? Yeah. I'm gonna censor this. <laughs> yeah, the lady gave us some toys for her to play with. I think it's supposed to be a squirrel. I don't really yeah, know. It's kind of weird. It's got a face. But the ball is cute. And same with the ropes. We already got her a rope. Like you asked about. Okay, two ropes. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hey, come in. How do you like the puppy? Aw, oh, you're being so good to the kitties. You're being so good. Coconut's not a fan. It's okay. Seriously, what do you, what is this? Leave in the comments below. A bear? A squirrel? I think it's like a weird squirrel thing. Want it? 
And as you can see, she's got like a lot of white on her. She's got lots of black speckles on her stomach. And the owner thinks that she's gonna get some more color, but she's really fluffy too. Look at you, you're so cute. You are, what, what? Ready? <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Okay, so you've probably heard us say her name in this video. Her name is Ronnie Mae. Oh, it's okay. She's still getting used to not having her siblings around, but that's okay. And she's a little Scotch Collie. She's nine weeks old and she's eight pounds. Oh, you're so cute right there, girl. Should we play with this? Okay, so it's the next day. So it's actually Father's Day right now. Um, so I just got back from like Father's Day festivities or whatever. Yeah, so she did pretty good last night. But she did get out. There's a little hole right here and you got out, didn't you? Yeah, she whimpered quite a bit, but it's normal for puppies. All right, you ready? All right, let me grab your toys real quick, okay? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming, let's go outside. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Be nice, Bree. Good job, Bree. Okay, that's going to the end of today's vlog. I have to finish this so I can edit it by Wednesday, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be sure to let you guys know how she's doing in upcoming vlogs. So I'm gonna play with her for a little bit, but I'll see you guys later.